In 1889, Vincent van Gogh painted The Starry Night, a swirling masterpiece of light and motion. A vision of the cosmos alive with turbulence and mystery. Over a century later, physicists looked deep into the quantum world, and to their amazement, found patterns that mirrored van Gogh's brushstrokes. The discovery came through the study of quantum vortices, strange whirlpools of energy that form inside superfluids in Bose-Einstein condensates. In these exotic states of matter, atoms move in perfect harmony. But when stirred or disturbed, they create vortex patterns, swirling, spiraling, dancing. When scientists mapped these quantum vortices, they saw something uncanny, the same chaotic elegance, the same rhythm of swirling motion. A bridge between art and physics, painted not with oil but with atoms and waves. How can this be? Turbulence, whether in the night sky in clouds or in a quantum fluid, follows universal laws. Patterns of energy and motion repeat across scales from galaxies to atoms. Van Gogh, without knowing the equations, captured turbulence on canvas. His brush strokes echoed the hidden mathematics of the universe. This connection has inspired both scientists and artists. For physicists, it shows how quantum matter can reveal universal truths about turbulence. For artists, it is proof that creativity can glimpse the deep structures of reality. The image of the starry night is no longer just art. It is a mirror of the cosmos, a reflection of how nature writes the same poetry in the sky, in the oceans, and even in the quantum realm. In Van Gogh's swirls, and in the spirals of quantum vortices, we glimpse the same beauty, the same mystery, the same truth that connects art and science. Van Gogh once wrote, For my part, I know nothing with certainty, but the sight of the stars makes me dream. Today, those stars still whisper through physics, reminding us that art and science are two languages of the same universe.